I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Thank you for your patience with us last week. We lost power due to the tropical storm 2020, am I right? This week we are back, and boy, all the earnings that came out from all the major cannabis companies. Canopy Growth reported that its first quarter fiscal revenue came in at $110 million. Still, though, the company reported net losses of $128 million. So there's a little bit of a problem there. TrueLeaf had an eye-popping uh, second quarter of $120 million, but the company said its net income fell to $6.6 .6 million. That's a big drop from last year's net income of $57 million for the same time period. Harvest Health and Recreation said that their revenue grew 109%. That went up to $55.7 million, as opposed to $26 million, but their net loss for the quarter was $18 million. Acreage Holdings' second quarter revenue came in at $27 million, also an increase of 53%, so that's good. But their net loss came in at $37 million, so still having problems there. The hydroponic store chain Grow Generation had an excellent quarter. They reported revenue of $43 million, and they raised their guidance for the full year to a range of $170 to $175 million, so great stuff going on there. Now, despite the tightened capital situation, we are still seeing companies raise money. Hexo raised almost 35 million Canadian dollars in an at-the-market offering this week, and Philo, the cannabis tech company, raised $10 million as they look to expand beyond cannabis. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt with the Green Market Report.